How much do we know about the Goths? Those fortunate enough to keep at a sound distance from the historical discourse shall probably think of those numerous Bela Lugosi impersonators who live by their hairspray and their macabre aesthetics. Those who did devote some of their time to tearing through all the insurmountable dogma and inexplicable lacunae in place of vibrant ages and civilizations that one finds in history textbooks will doubtlessly think of Jordanes and Cassiodorus in this respect and recollect the Goths to have been a group of Germanic tribes who swarmed Europe in the alleged 3rd century AD, and alleged is a key word here, to rape, pillage and terrorize. But how Germanic were they really, and when exactly have they been introduced to us as such? According to Anatoly Fomenko, one of the world's leading mathematicians, the Goths were Slavic through and through. This alone would fail to make a piece of sensational news, however, Fomenko really finds sensational telling us that the Gothic tribes were none other but the biblical nations of Gog and Magog. That might sound like nonsense, after all, don't the Old Testament events date back to times immemorial? However, once you delve into the long-awaited English translation of Fomenko's history, fiction or science, you shall very soon discover that official history is absolutely and completely without competition in terms of making nonsense sound like science. History, fiction or science? is a phenomenal and unprecedented scientific experiment since neither state-of-the-art methods of mathematical statistics nor astronomical data have ever been applied to history before. One would expect such a procedure to yield interesting results, but interesting doesn't remotely approach the results of Fomenko's research. Ancient and medieval history transform into a phantom, leaving us with the historical period of a single millennium to encompass everything from Jesus Christ who is proved to have lived in the 11th century AD to today. Definitely nonsense and positively impossible, you say? Just wait till you get infected with the new chronology mem, and mark our words, looking back at your vehement support of consensual history will be most embarrassing indeed. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fiction or Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time. We shall never know just how many historical documents are in fact counterfeit. History in general goes hand in hand with a history of forgeries. Countless chronicles as well as works of art and literature have been considered authentic for centuries before becoming denounced as counterfeit. A presumed fragment of Cicero's De Consolatione discovered by the famous humanist scholar Sigonius only became identified as a work of the latter two centuries after the death of the author, we would probably still believe in Cicero's authorship of said fragment if it hadn't been for the discovery of Sigonius' written confession. Similar examples are rather abundant, the thespian poet Lucius Verus who turned out to be a 18th century Dutch scientist by the name of Hercules, plagiarizing from the 16th century Venetian author Carrario, classical text sold to the Leipzig library by a certain Shenis in the 1920s and so forth. Think of just how many remain undiscovered, after all, the larger part of the iceberg always remains underwater. However, there may be an equal amount of valid historical documents in existence that were declared forgeries due to their being at odds with the official history. Anatoly Fomenko, the prominent mathematician, was the first to apply natural scientific methods to historical data. Coming up with a revolutionary theory which implies a radical revision of history as we know it. 
This theory finally explains such historical oddities as the existence of Christian tabernacles in the pagan town of Pompeii and the Ottoman Turks referred to as Persians in medieval documents. It is rendered in Fomenko's fundamental work entitled, History, Fiction or Science which is finally out in English. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fiction or Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time.